Hello, my name is Glyn Griffiths. Um, I'm an advisor with Cumbria Chamber of Commerce and have been recently since uh, December 2020. Uh, prior to that, I've been an advisor for a business advisor for about 20 years. My, my industry experience basically is a financial analyst and uh, I work for uh, Shell as a financial analyst and British Telecom International. Uh, big company experience with air products and Barlow, what was then called Barlow Handling, uh, before moving north um, with my family. So then I became an advisor working mainly in uh, corporate finance, helping companies to raise money. But uh, being a financial analyst, uh, what I really enjoyed doing was um, helping companies uh, improve their profitability and their performance. Um, so looking really at, you know, factory or business capacity um, uh, to make sure that really they're focusing on, you know, making their, their business as profitable as possible. So I became, I moved up to Cumbria just over 20 years ago, and that's when I became by and by a business advisor and, um, and also self-employed. Uh, on the journey as a business advisor, uh, I worked with uh, Cumbria, uh, well, what was originally West Cumbria Development Agency, and then with Business Link, uh, where I was a, a business advisor. And, um, and also when Business Link uh, was closed down, uh, I started working with uh, what was then the Growth Accelerator Program. While being an advisor, I was also took up training, uh, business training, so running workshops in business planning, uh, financial uh, topics. Uh, what I enjoy most about the role, uh, I think really it's helping people um, <clears throat> and it's helping them, you know, get to where they first of all want to go, but also sometimes pointing out really perhaps where they could go. And so sometimes it's really helping companies or people to raise the bar uh, rather than just uh, take, uh, if you like, a media, mediocre type of approach to their business and where they can get to. Bigger success uh, to date as an advisor, um, I don't really think in terms of bigger success. I mean, it's confidential anyway, um, but I've worked with some of the, and, and done financial reviews, for example, some of the largest companies uh, um, certainly in, in Cumbria, um, but also some of the smallest. And um, my biggest success really is working with people who really, work, whether they're big or small, achieve their aims. And uh, so that's what I see as success, not so much financial success. What have I learned as being an advisor? Uh, perhaps the main thing I've learned is really uh, the need to listen. Um, and also not to prejudge people. Um, it's very easy to form a, a preconceived view of someone or a business. And uh, when you get there, it's uh, totally different and the opportunities are completely different. Type of sport I've offered, uh, mostly uh, financial sport in terms of companies wanting to, to raise um, funding uh, for a, a business project. Sometimes people want to understand their, their finances, uh, but recently, um, I, um, while I've been an advisor, I'm perhaps backtracking slightly, I, the last four years I stepped back and I was working with Amcor for one year as a, uh, a business finance partner uh, covering for maternity leave. And after that, I worked for about two and a half years with University of Cumbria as the uh, project manager for Eco Innovation Cumbria. And I really enjoyed the latter role, particularly because um, it gave me an opportunity to learn new things, particularly about low carbon, uh, achieving and moving towards net zero and, um, and basically environmental matters. So being in the learning environment was, was a, a good opportunity to, to pick up new skills and when I first started that role, uh, the, the, the narrative, if you like, on the street wasn't so much about low carbon. Uh, people, the, it wasn't really on, on people's, uh, front of their people's mind. 
as it is now. Uh, and at the time, really, it was about uh, reducing carbon and reducing cost, which is still true. Um, but what I really enjoy about that is, and perhaps where there's a big opportunity, I see, is to actually work with companies that want to improve their, their if like, environmental performance. And uh, that's one way I can help. And as part of that role, um, it's really because of my contacts with and universities, uh, University of Cumbria, Lancaster University, and University of Central Lancashire. I'm really aware of how they work. And so I'm very able to put people in touch with the company, explain how they work, and essentially um, link companies with student researchers uh, from undergraduates, postgraduate, masters, and PhD level um, as appropriate. And a lot of these are funded projects, fully funded, so there's a lot of opportunities out there for, for companies. And I like to be able to develop that work further. Perhaps that's really what I see as one of the major areas of sports I can provide. Three interesting facts about me. I'm not sure there are many. Um, I've traveled around, spent two years traveling around the world. Um, I worked in a brewery. Um, it's one brewery in Australia. Uh, I was a gardener. Thank you.